What's up, y'all? My name is Devontae, and I sacrifice my time so you don't have to, bro. Come on, my nigga. Come on, bro. Bro, do you see the shit that was, bro? That excerpt, and I swear to God, I seen that excerpt before. I can't put my finger on it. I felt like she said that shit already, or maybe she just says shit like that so many fucking times that I can't decipher which time or which place or which when, where, why, how, or how the fuck. I can't even remember. I swear to God, she said that shit before, though. But we're going to talk about it regardless because it was making the rounds last night. How fucking delusional do you have to be? But like I said, is it even delusion? At this point, it could just be flat out rage bait, homie. It's straight up rage bait, bruh. But, ugh. Bruh, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Speaking of crazy, Mercedes Monet Stand Club out there. I see y'all lurking in the fucking comment section. I see y'all niggas lurking in the videos. I know y'all about to get butt hurt right now, okay? But let me just remind you that titles, they exist for a reason. Use your eyes. I know being retarded can hurt some of your senses. I get you only have five senses and I have six, meaning I have more sense than you. But if you can't use the title, then you can use the illustration that currently resides right there in this thing called a fucking thumbnail. You know I'm about to talk shit about her. You know I'm about to blast her, yet you can't help yourself but click on the fucking video. So look, let me help you out here. Let me help you cope for a second, okay? I want you to take that little tampon soap thing that you got out of her fucking trash can about six years ago that you put in a Ziploc bag in order to memorialize the time that you got even remotely close to a pussy outside of your fucking reflection. I want you to go directly into that little shrine room that you dedicated to Mercedes Monet. I want you to sit there holding that stained tampon inside that Ziploc bag close to your fucking heart okay and i want you to sit there and i want you to listen to some fucking eminem and dido while i blast this bitch into smithereens like she fucking deserves because of the stupid shit that she fucking says we good check it out bro look at this fucking twitter post my god bro how fucking delusional does one have to be link is down in the description box below if you want to follow along it's an excerpt and i quote from mercedes i always felt like i was a big fish in a small pond over there in wwe i always felt like i was destined for bigger things and i had this massive anchor tied to my ankle I had to pass up on major Hollywood roles to honor tour dates and pay-per-views while I was there in WWE. Tony understands me. I've got some projects coming up that he's already signed off on me taking off to do. I feel like ever since coming here to AEW, the shackles have come off really. I've been working on an album that I'm hoping releases by next year. And Tony has even agreed to consider having one of my tracks be the theme song of our new show that's running soon. I don't know if I'm allowed to say the name of it yet, but, which I'm assuming that's gonna be Shockwave, presumably. Continuing on, but yeah, we're changing the landscape of wrestling as a whole, and I'm, I'm just excited to be on the better side of it here at AEW. Just flat out, bruh, just flat out burying WWE, bruh. I don't know, man. This is just my belief. This is just my belief, bruh. Whenever I leave my old job and I'm about to go to a new job, never am I gonna leave my old job just shitting all over the place, right? spitting all over the place blowing snot boogers pissing all over the place bodily fluids all over the place while i'm walking out sticking my middle finger at every motherfucker because there's always a possibility that i have to come back to that place right there's always a possibility that shit might not work out well over here but i know at the very least there's a good opportunity that i can come back to this last job it's showing a little bit of discipline right it's, it's, it's humbling yourself for the most part it's making yourself understand that in the end of the day, the shit that goes on over here, well, fuck, it might not work out. So always let me keep this shit in my back pocket and make it known that I would love to work here again if the opportunity pre presents itself. But that's not even the point, bro. There's multiple things behind this, bro. And this isn't the first time typing a comment like this. Like I said, I swear to God, she made a fucking comment similar to this. But I guess when you bury WWE so many times, I guess it just, again, you talk about me talking about Mercedes Monet. She does it just as much with WWE. That's the reason why I make the videos. She does it just as much. But let's talk about some of the unbelievable bullshit that she was saying right here. And it's all copium at the end of the day, okay? First off, the bullshit that she was talking about in regards to being a big fish in a small pond over there in WWE. There's one thing to be cocky. There's another thing to be absolutely out of your mind delusional. That's pure, unadulterated delusion. The reason why you left WWE to begin with, or at least in re-sign the contract, was because you 
recognize that you was going to get a contract on par with Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair. Let's keep that 100, all right? You recognize that you weren't going to get the exact same paycheck as a Becky Lynch or a Charlotte Flair. It's not to say whether or not she was good or whether or not she was bad. Leave it up to the eight, the Mercedes Monet ass lickers. They'll tell you that she was the best thing that ever happened in that company's history. But I'm here to keep it real and I'm here to tell you, ah, ah, not really true. Okay, but let's 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 put this all in the context okay for a person who wasn't on par with charlotte or on par with becky lynch at least financially speaking you can at least harp on the fact that she has a bunch of accolades within wwe right first this first this first this historical this historical this first historical this historical this historical this ask yourself for a second right because if we're going to talk about this then let's fucking talk about it same thing can be if same thing can be presented to most of the other town also in the same position when it comes to a minority status would you even be in the position that you're currently in right now if you happen to not be a woman plus a person of color? Would that happen even to be the case right now? Let's just keep it 100, all right? Keep it 100. Would that even have to be the case? Huh? Talent be damn, all right? It's not to say that Mercedes Monet is a bad worker, at least back then. Can't tell you the same thing right now. But at the time, considering all the time that they had at the time, would you actually consider her to be put in that position? Say, for an example, the main event of WrestleMania with Bianca Belair. For that matter, throw Bianca Belair in that bitch too. Would they or would they not? I don't know, but what I could tell you is that I find it very peculiar that it's always first ever this, historical this, historical this, historical this, when never having to deal with, with someone like a Sasha Banks, right? Right? It is what it is. That's fine. But considering that everything that you did was validated from this perspective of historical this, first time this, first time this, historical this, first time this, first time this, then what do you mean that you were a big fish in a small pond? In what way? What was the small pawn? The small pawn is WWE that's giving you the opportunity to make all these historical changes? Get real, bro. You just running your fucking mouth, bro. Okay, and that's your opinion. Okay, we all have eyes. Like I said, we're not your stands. Okay, we don't have our faces deep in your pussy. Okay, we actually can look up and actually smell the roses, not tuna. Let me tell you this, bro. This bullshit right here, this whole facade that people are going to pretend as if this is her character talking, Devontae. You don't understand. She's trying to get over as a hill by putting over AEW because that's what most hills do, right? Most hills that I know put over AEW in a heavy light in spite of WWE because that's a good way to draw heat from the AEW fans, brother, is by putting over AEW and dissing WWE. Oh, that heat raining from the clouds like it's Venus and it's acid. Oh, boy, I love that motherfucking heat. So much motherfucking heat. Oh, God, I'm drowning in the heat. I'm on fucking fire. Get the fuck out of here, bro. That's how she legitimately feels, man. That's not a character. That is Mercedes all fucking day. That's Mercedes Renato. That's not Mercedes Monet. And it's all cringe bullshit. Let's go over some of the facts since she's been in AEW, seeing that she's a big fish in a small pond when she was in WWE. Let's talk about how small that pond has gotten in AEW. And let's talk about how well you're swimming in that pond right now big fish check it out for a second hmm uh can you guys tell me a segment that mercedes has done in the last five or six months that has been over eight hundred thousand views as a matter of fact carry the one two three four buckle my chew i can't remember her doing anything outside of eight hundred thousand views since her first month in aew Everything was based off of the surprise of her being there, which, by the way, the surprise is because of WWE's book and Mrs. Big Fish and Small Pond. Okay, let's talk about the attendance, okay? How many people come to AEW to watch Mercedes Monet wrestle? I, I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I'm listening. I hear crickets. Let me open my ears wider. Uh-oh, I hear more crickets. What are you talking about, bro? You think the TV deal was based upon Mercedes Monet? Huh? Huh? Anybody out there? Curious? Waiting? Huh? Everything is in spite of the success of AEW. That has nothing to do with Mercedes Monet at all. She has not brought them to any promised land. She has nothing more than another fish swimming neck to neck with another fish in a small pond. Look, at the end of the day, and it's always been this about Tony Khan, it's all about the aesthetic of the superstar, okay? It doesn't matter what they actually have done for the company or what they will do for the company. It's all about the aesthetic. It's no different than when Eric Bischoff was chilling with Hogan and Hall and Nash back in the days. It's no different than when Dixie Carter was chilling with Hogan and Hall and Nash and TNA, okay? Everything follows the exact same pattern when it comes to these money marks who like to put themselves into a fucking position in order to pretend as if they're one of the boys. But in reality, bro, you are nothing more than a mark. The difference between us and you is that we're marks for free you paid a billion dollars to be a fucking mark 
Mercedes Monet is playing in this dude like a clown. Like, can we all recognize this, bro? Let's recognize this for what it is. Tony Khan is a mark and he's being played like a fucking fiddle. And all props in the world to Mercedes Monet. She got this man buying her records to put, presumably, going off of what she's saying, she's got this dude taking her tracks and putting it in the opener, I presume, to be Shockwave. She got this dude letting her take off time, bro. Like she's some actual fucking star, bro. The only Mer the only fans of Mercedes Monet are the Mercedes Monet fans. Does that make any sense? Huh? Never mind. It's all you got one. There's nobody in the middle, bro. You either got super diehard fans of her or you got people who don't give a fuck about her. There's nowhere in the middle. There's nowhere in the middle. And most people who are fans of Mercedes Monet, make no mistake about it. They're only, they're only fans of Mercedes Monet because they want to feel special, right? It's the whole, well, it's too popular to like Rhea Ripley. It's too popular to like Charlotte Flair. It's too popular to like Becky Lynch. It's too popular to like Liv Morgan. So, uh, uh, Mercedes, there she goes. I want to, uh, come on, bruh. Come on, bro. It's just a way to make yourselves feel special in the end of the day. Then you get overly obsessed with the special feeling that you have gotten fucked with from Mercedes Monet. And it doesn't have to be today also. You probably have the same philosophy when it was with the Four Horsewomen a couple of years ago. You get the party same philosophy when Dylan with Oscar back in the days, all right? It's the same thing, just switch the women out, okay? My point being is, though, that's all it is. It's being infatuated with a superstar in order to feel special and then making your mind believe that that superstar that you feel, that you feel infatuated with, it's a legitimate infatuation, but in reality, it's just to make yourself feel special. That's all it is, bro. That's all it is. That's all her fans are in the end of the day. It's bullshit, man. And like I said, this ain't a knock on Mercedes in the end of the day. Yo, good for her, bro. You got everybody eating out of the palm of your hands, my dude. You getting time off from your boss. You being able to do special projects. You being able to put out shitty rap songs. I heard that she was working with um, uh, Megan Thee Stallion in order to do the rap song or her album. Good for her, bro. Make the moves. This ain't hating on the Mercedes Monet at all, bro. Make all the money in the world that you can make. At the end of the day, though, don't do one thing, really two things, but one thing, one thing, don't fucking shit where you eat, bruh, especially when you know the place that you shitting where you eat and you doing it on purpose as if you can say to yourself you have another place to go eat at, knowing good and damn well that the place that you currently eating at at the moment as if it can't fucking foreclose on, as if you can't be fucking kicked out of and as if you can't come back to that place you just shit it all over. Don't do that. What is the fucking point of doing that? You all about business, Mrs. CEO. Doesn't make sense to fucking do stupid shit like that now, does it? Does it? But I guess it's a millennial woman, so I guess she probably thinks to herself she has nothing to lose, so just keep going forward, all right? YOLO, am I right? And then the second thing, bro, and like I said, that's fine. This part right here ain't so much. All I'm saying is just live and reality bring yourself down a couple of notches it ain't about humbling it's about fucking looking around you 360 spinning and being in the world where you reside and seeing the shit that's in front of your eyes it's that you do realize let me say this one more time bro because i'm gonna get out of here this ain't that long of a video i just seen this and i had to talk about this but you do realize in the end of the day your fans in the end of the day are people who think they have a chance with you that's it people who think they have a chance with you they don't not even close not, not not even remotely close but they think that shit and i get it you milk that perspective you milk that as a you you milk that in order to get as much money as you can out of these fucking weirdo these these peasy neck bears okay i get it i get it i understand i know the play i wish i was a girl sometimes bro i'd be doing all fans all over this bitch twerking and everything bro knowing that i don't have to fucking do anything with a nigga to get money from a distance bro promise all day in the world to women who can take advantage of that shit you take advantage of a dumb nigga that's on them they deserve it okay they need to get their lives in order why you get your life in order by taking away their lives that's on these dumb ass niggas i ain't fucking faulting you for the game you playing it well but at the same time let's not make ourselves believe that this game that we're playing is us using the controller once you put that controller down life continues and this is who you really are in the end of the day okay you are mercedes vernada you are not now, Renato, Vanita, 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 Amana, Amana, Pita. I don't know what the fuck her last name fucking starts. It's a banana, whatever the fucking name is. Banana. Mercedes Banana. Her new name is Mercedes Banana, for fuck's sakes. She, in the end of the day, is a person who is obviously highly insecure. She, in the end of the day, needs validation. 
She needs to feel strong. She needs to feel empowered. It's the feminist nonsense mindset that's been going on for the better part of nearly 60 or 70 years. Having them believe that they are more of what they are when in reality they should be right there in the spot that they legitimately deserve. But, but when you get people enabling you, constantly circle jerking around you literally and figuratively, telling you that you are the shit, telling you that you are the thing, you are the best in the world, girl, you're the best in the world. And then you have the rest of the world looking at you and looking at everybody else going, huh? What? You, you okay there, buddy? It's easy to get yourself wrapped up and it's easy to make yourself believe that the bullshit that you currently hear currently surrounding you on a daily basis. It's easy to it's easy to trap yourself, man. It's easy to trap yourself. I get it. I get it. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below in regards to how you feel about the video. Oh boy. I can see it already. Like I said, bro. I can I can feel my spotty senses tingling. It's 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 the fanboys. I I can I, I can feel the stampede. Oh no. Oh god, it's an earthquake. Thousands of fucking Mercedes fanboys. An earthquake is upon us right now, and it's only five of them. I get it. I understand what I put myself into, bro. I better fucking put out some damn, I don't know, like warning or something. This is my warning right now, okay? If I don't make another video tomorrow or the day after or something, I understand that the Mercedes Monet fanboys, they got to me. They got to my throat, brother. They got to my throat. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as far as how you feel about the actual article in itself, or I guess the excerpt. Do you believe that Mercedes Monet is the shit? She's the bee's knees? Do you actually believe that the shit that she spouts out of that thing she calls a mouth is actually believable? Do you think that she herself believes the bullshit that she says? And most importantly, this is not even a question. This is more of a statement to some of the people out there who need to really get a life, okay? Stop enabling people because of how they look. Stop rewarding pleasure. Reward meritocracy. Mercedes is nowhere near close to Sasha Banks, if that makes any sense. You are enabling her behavior to continue doing the shitty things that she's doing, whether it's the rhetoric, whether it's the actual wrestling in itself, whether it's the lack of mic skills, whether it's the lack of character overall that she's trying to overcompensate for by putting on this facade known as Mercedes Monet. You enabling this behavior is always going to have detractors come her way because she's always going to, like I said, overcompensate for the fact that she has lack of talent right now compared to where she was a couple of years ago. Maybe she needs to get on the bike and maybe she needs to pedal a little bit faster around the block and get her fucking skills back up. Maybe she needs to remember a little bit easier. Maybe muscle memory and working on too well. But understand, she ain't the same wrestler as to what she was a couple of years ago. And the more... And more and more you gas her up and the more and more and more she sees the gassing up and think that she's actually really fucking good the more and more videos that come her way you guys are her biggest enemies her biggest fans are her biggest enemies my name is Devonte, and i'll be catching you guys later deuces p ice